Shmuel doesn't hold of this. That's what the Mishnah tells me. But but maybe he knows this from Halach Lomesh Misinai. Just because he can't use the Pasuk for it, because he uses the Pasuk to teach me something else, doesn't mean that he doesn't have that Halacha, that you need to know that you were Tameh before you enter into the Temple, and then have an awareness again afterwards. So he Kamash Malan, the Chiddush is that Rishmal actually holds that you don't need to know before at all. And that's what, Reb, that's what Rish Lakish is telling us. They say, they okay. say ADD is, is the digital age, but you see back then everybody had it also. I remember. He walked to the path. I he has to go back, walk to the same path on another side. Right. Okay. If we had a moon, we would open up a behemoth stall. And we would Sure, man. What? Believe me, there was tons. I said, if we had a moon in now, the chef is dog. Sheep, baby. We would open a bang and stole now. Diamonds. Mm. Why wait? <laughs> I can see that one go up. Where's, Where's the line? beef? Where's the beef? New Mishnah. Chalev. The nice sir. The fun of. There's two sins. By the way, there's a guy in, in a place called Ailey. Moshav Ailey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, um, He's a shepherd. He doesn't sell his sheep, but he's preparing them for the base of Migdal. Smart. Smart. Yeah. Novel. It's time underground, Lobach. The question is, I mean, how, much, how, much can we, how, how, how many times can we turn around this Indian of Chelev and Rachel over there? That I mean, like, jeez. Don't Gemara. give it a rest. That's the Gemara. Didn't have magazines. No, okay. Didn't have magazines back then. I know. Apparently, I know. <laughs> A lot of the terrors about food. <laughs> I know. I miss that part. If you were Pumpadita, <laughs> this is what you would be talking about. This is they have a bread name. Chela and Isa Lafana. You have... Pumpernickel? Uh, oh, that's the one. Chela, yeah. forbidden fat. The nicer is leftover meat from a sacrifice. Ibra Gublivina. Meat from a sacrifice. Meham. And he eats one of them. Ooh. Our last mission was you had Chelev and Shuman in front of you, uh, in sense. front of someone, and he ate one of them. And we were discussing an Ashram Talit. Now me. we're talking about that he he's definitely doing a sin. Last time we didn't we didn't know which one he ate. Here we also don't know which one he ate, but we know the fats. Or the same substance, so you can see. Yeah, here it's also the same sub- substance. Let's say. No, no, before one was permissible. One's Caleb one's and one's uh, Caleb of Nice. Of Nice, yeah. So he eats one of them. But he doesn't know which one he ate, so so he definitely did a sin, but he doesn't know which one. Is it carbon this, we, they, They'll get him on. Can they do this? In the, we don't it? know which crime you committed, but one of them. We'll rest you for something. <laughs> Be yeah. guilty of something. <laughs> is the, the carbon discrimination? No. There was another. Oh, you'll see. Ish, you'll see. Yeah, Ish thing nida, vachaisi me bias. His wife is in nida, but his sister's in the house. And shagag bechas meam, vene de bezim of shagag. He lived with one of them, he doesn't know which one. It's definitely a sin, he doesn't know which one. His sister was probably not in nida. Huh? Yeah, maybe. Maybe they were twins. Um, or it was dark. Shabbos v'yeim Kippurim, Shabbos and Yom Kippur. V'asa malacha bein hashmoshes. You see, this must have been. We don't have this where where Friday is Yom Kippur or Matzah Shabbos is Yom Kippur. We don't do that. But but if this is if this uh, worked out like that, um, why would they have had it then? Because they count by the by the uh, by the witnesses would right. see the moon. V'ini right. dei bez me'masa. He doesn't know which one he did the malacha on. Was it? Friday, Yom Kippur, or was it Shabbos? He knows he did a sin, but he did it in twilight. He doesn't know which day it was. Oh, wow. So, Rabbi Eliezer Mechai Chathas. Rabbi Eliezer says that he's Chayav Chathas. Rabbi Shua Paita, Rabbi Shua says he's exempt. Very interesting for all of these cases. Yeah. Rabbi Shua is saying that you can't get an atonement when you don't really know which crime it was. Uh, as much as one. I'm Rabbi Yaisi. Rabbi Yaisi says, There's no machlaikas. If he does machlaik, if he does malacha in twilight, 
Because I could say he didn't commit the full crime. Partial, partial crime on Shabbos, partial crime uh, um, on Yom uh, Kippur. It wasn't a full malacha. Depends on how you hold him in his What process. kind of malacha did he do? That, that he, 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 wove, uh, yeah, really he wrote two letters. He, you know, he tied it. Uh, uh, half was Shabbos, half was... Amman Yechleku, Ala Isa Malacha B'Taycha Yayim, Ben Yedim B'Shabbos Asim B'Mikvur Mas. It must be that he did it all by day, but he doesn't know if it was Yom Kippur or not. It's hard to imagine, but... Oy, oy, ala... Right. He's in a desert. Right. Oy, Ala Isa, Ben Yedim, Me Eza, Me En Eza Malacha Asa. This is interesting. He did a malach, he doesn't know which one he did. He didn't know if he plowed or if he sowed the, the seed. Rabbi Lezer Mechayev, Chatas Rabbi Shua Paiter. Rabbi Lezer says Yechayev, Rabbi Shua says Yechem. Rabbi Shua is, again, being uh, with the same uh, story. Rabbi Shua is saying that you need to actually know 100% what the crime was to get the atonement. Wow. Amar Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda says, Paiter Hayer Rabbi Yeshua from Yashem Tali. He says, Rabbi Yeshua says you're exempt even from Yashem Tali. Reb Shimon, Reb Shimon Shizuri, Aymrim, Leinechleku al Davershu Mishem Echad Shuchayev. If it's Mishem Echad, that means it's one malacha. But you don't know, you cut the uh, fruits off a tree. I don't know if I cut it off this tree or that tree. So that's one, it's the same malacha. That's, you're going to be chayev. Al Manechleku al Davershu Mishem Beis Shemus. It has to be two different malachas. You're not sure if you harvest it or if you ground it. When you cut it off, you don't know... But would you be chayev on one by itself? You chayev on one by itself, but you don't know which one you did. Shab lezer mechayev. Doesn't he not know what he did? I Rabbi Shua Paiter. Like... Or it could be, let's say you, you're not sure if you cut... Um, cut figs or, or cut grapes. Does that matter? You cut, you cut a fruit. We'll see. You're right. We'll see. Rabbi Lezer says chayev, Rabbi Shua says pater. I'm Rabbi Yehuda. Rabbi Yehuda said, who was saying this? This is Rabbi Shimon and Rabbi Shimon Shizuri. I'm Rabbi Yehuda. I feel in the sky of an lilkei te'inim v'liket anavim. Anavim v'liket te'inim. Shchayrus v'liket levanus. Levanus v'liket shchayrus. Rabbi Yehuda saying that Rabbi Lezer Mechayev Chatzos Rabbi Yeshua Paiter. Rabbi Yeshua over here would say Fatr as well. The question is, what is Rabbi Yehuda saying different than, than Rabbi Shimon and Rabbi Shimon Shizuri that we have to see in the Gemara? Amar Rabbi Shimon. Rabbi Shimon says, what's the Zion here? Tamani in Patabar Rabbi Shua. I wonder if Rabbi Shua really says Pater. Imkain Lama Nema Ashechataba. According to him, so what does it mean Ashechataba? Chataba is an exemption for, for you, have to know, you have to know exactly which sin you, 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 the person did. So what would he use? If Rabbi Shua says Chayev, what would he use? Um, ba, it, you have to know it specifically. So it's Pratla Masasik. This is excluding Masasik. Masasik means when you, you're trying to do one thing and you ended up doing something else. Not, in other words, your attempt was, was not really fulfilled. You thought you were doing one thing, you ended up doing another thing. Okay. Well, Tanya. That, that, I mean, that could that could be that could be um, like a like not a Helen. That could be like, like a not TV. Or that's like right. you, you didn't like, a shaggy, Helen, it's like a shaggy. It's like a shaggy. Tanya, start in a brisa. I'm a Rebbe Lezer. Rebbe Lezer says this manafshach. This is Rebbe Lezer's logic. He says me manafshach. Whichever way you take it, I achal chelav. I'm sorry. I chelav achal chayev. I noiser achal chayev. I yishtei need the ball chayev. I achayse ball chayev. It, we don't care what he whatever he did he did a sin what are you making it uh, like oh you don't know exactly which one he did he did one of them Rabbi Shua says the pasuk says that he sinned in it he has to know which sin he did he doesn't know which sin he did. He can't bring the chatas until he knows the pasuk by chata says that the sin that he committed. He doesn't have. He doesn't doesn't know which sin he committed. Why can't he make a statement that he's either this or that? You know, like 
like when we do yeah, like when that we burn, you do. When we burn comics, right. you know, so we should say uh -huh. you know, you cover all uh, Yeah, Rabbi Shua says there's a comments. special exemption here that if you don't know for sure, it doesn't count. Rabbi Lezer, hi, Ba, my Yavadlai, what does he do for Ba? He uses it to tell me Masasik. Again, we'll see what Masasik is in the, the Gemara. Masasik Demai. What, is, what type of Masasik? What, Masasik means someone's involved in something, but he ends up doing a different act than he was expecting to, to, to commit. How do they translate it? Preoccupied. He was trying to do one thing, he ends up doing something else. Are we talking about Chalavim Varayas? Masasik Bechalavim mm -hmm. means like this. He knows which one is Chalav and which one is Shuman. And he's reaching out for the Shuman. And he's going to eat the Shuman. And while he's reaching out for the Shuman, something happens and he ends up eating the Chalav. He knows which one it is, but he ends up just doing the wrong one just by uh, his hand moves or someone moves it into his hand or something. And Arayas is, he's intending to 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 be with his wife. Thinking that she's um, pure. And somehow she, she slips away and his uh, sister slips in there or something. Or, or something like that. But his intention, his intention was totally correct. That's a misasik. And, but the problem is that by Chalavim and Arayas, a person still chayev. Why? Because there still regardless is pleasure the there, regardless of the, of the intention. That's an exception. Usually, Masasik is Pater. But by Chalavim and Arayas, is chayev. Ida Chalavim and Arayas, is chayev. Dom Rab Nachum, Nam Shmuel, Masasik, by Chalavim and Arayas, is chayev, Shkein Nana. Because he still has the pleasure of the sin. V'i Masasik, by Are you talking about Masasik, by Shabbos? We are a person intending to do something that's permissible, and he ends up doing a crime. Then the fishery is potter. My time, a malachas machshavas aser Torah. You're only chayav on Shabbos if you know what you're doing. If you do a malacha without intention at all, that's not a, that's not considered a malacha. So the Gemara says the Rava mishkachas la kegonshin eskav and lachlis are esatolish v'chatach has a machuber. It's a it's a machlekes Rava and Abaya about this. We'll see in a moment. But according to Rava, it could work where a person intends to cut something that's not attached to the tree. But he ends up cutting something that's attached. According to Abaya, it works if he's intending just to lift up something that's not attached, but he ends up cutting something that's attached. The Itmar was stated. Someone's intending. Um, what was the case over here? There's like a vine, and he's intending to lift up a piece of. Uh, <coughs> something that's not attached to the tree. While he's lifting it up, he ends up he ends up cutting something that is attached to the tree. Cutting something that's attached to the tree is a malach of kaitzer. So he's potter. He had no intention to that. My timer. The lechavan l'shem chatich wasn't intending to cut. That was totally not his intention. So that's misasek. That, that, that would be a misasek. This is the definition of misasek. Right. However, lach de chasatolosh he is intending to cut, but he's intending to cut something that's permissible because it's not attached. But he ends up cutting something what that is mean, attached. They were both very close. There's, there's two things that are right next to each other. There's a vine that's going right along his uh, something that he's trying to chop, and there's a vine growing. He ends up cutting the uh, the vine. Did you say them regarding the chops? He's, well, he's cutting his uh, his vegetable that's that's on his uh, cutting board. So he he has a decoration that's growing along his uh, his counter or something. I don't know. Okay. So here he is intending to cut. So abaya merchayev to ha echavon l'shem chaticha because he is intending to cut. That's that's not totally masasik. It's not that something happened that he wasn't intending for. No, something happened that he was intending for. Just not this, but he's chayev. Rav Amar is potter. Rav says that that wasn't a chaticha de isura. So when we were discussing over here in Masasik, when is Masasik Pater? So um, we're saying over here that it's a special case. 
But it makes sense to miss out where you get to because Ramish Bishag again. It's not what it, it's not the intention. And and and, and intention in halacha and isa is is, is is like one of right. the primary factors right. in deciding of, of whether it's right. an issue or not. Normally on Shabbos you need Malachas Machabas. So I don't need a din of Masasik to make him potter. But over here, this would have been Malachas Machabas. If not for the din of Masas, if not for the special halacha, I would say that he's chayev. Now we're saying that he's potter, even though he's intending to cut. Okay.